All right, y'all, let's get into part two of the world stage and the projection of our reality and Hollywood, the bell worship, the church, all these things, all right, and the return of Jesus and whatever. So we need to remember that the church back in the 20s and 50s and shit, they came out and said, that's the devil's lettuce. That's the rock and roll. That's Satan's music, Okay. Once we understand this, and this is part of that brainwashing, and this is part of them bringing you into their confinement, their temple, their synagogue, and it's part of that carnal nation going to seek salvation. And they're brought under the law, they're worshiping bell, they're giving their 10%. Ding, 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 church has started. Ding, 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 dinner. No, I'm going to eat when I get done working here. I don't need to eat it hot. I can eat it cold. What do you mean eat it cold? I just ring the bell and I tell you dinner's ready. You see the different, and there's different types of things going on here, folks. Okay? These are, this book transcends time. And it, at its heart, it teaches positive and negativity and magnetism and stuff. Okay. And that's what this world is comprised of. And we're being pushed down to this world and we breathe oxygen. That's magnetic. And this wind blows upon this world. It pulls the waves up. That's magnetic. All these things are, everything's magnet magnetism. Everything is positive and negative because magnetism is positive and negative. And with that, everything's electricity. Electricity is magnetism. All these, we're electric, we're magnets. This is where you walk into a room, and you're like, man, he or him or whatever, you're just like really drawn to them, or you feel like you've known them forever, or whatever kind of thing, okay? It's part of maybe knowing them in past lives, because we're all born again, but it's also just maybe these other things where we're just uh, this positive and negative, whatever, right? Um, so, depending on your names, numbers, how toxic your temple is, how toxic their temple is, all these things. And that's how like birds of a feather flock together. That's where you got the stereotypes. That stereotype is that media media that frequency i put off that radio that light i'm putting off um so everything is waves as waves it's always moving always connecting everything is is flowing all right um so as jesus as as the church is coming on it's the bell of worship it's the worship of right and wrong all right as as we get naked, and Eden was all about naked, their heaven was naked, they get all offended. So as the like Moses and like Paul, they see Jesus, they see God, and they lift up the harness in their own hearts, and they start creating laws on men. And um, as <sighs> there's many things, as we're going from one spread out we're going from spread out to one okay and um the things when we need we need to understand that christ is all of us as the body and that antichrist is is part of like that armies that's gathered where the rib is taken out but that's part of the Antichrist nature, where the Antichrist has come on and they're going against man. All right. So the Antichrist nature is, is the one that is desiring to eat this, that, and the other that destroys the temple. But they give you this from an early age. Okay. That's why they, most women don't breastfeed anymore. And. There's all kinds of things going. The jar food and jar food, jar head. But all these things are being taken. And it's different stacks. And once we understand the big picture of reality, how the beginning is declared from the end, Genesis 1, Genesis 2, God, Lord God, 
Positive, negative, life, death, all these things. Division one, okay? We can understand where we're going and we can understand the times we're in. And we need to understand that as these times are tested, as man can do all things, as the rainbow, as this light, as this coat of Joseph is being expressed in all ways, shapes, and forms, right? This rainbow that's put over Noah's Ark to protect them is coming out through men. And as it's being expressed through men, there's something that stands the test of time and all these things. And you just have to let that Antichrist spirit take its course. And the Antichrist spirit is where man goes against man. Where that dead in Christ rising first. They worship the dead. I'm going to go kill you, motherfucker. You coming on my land in Texas? You coming to Texas anymore? There's That is illegal. There are laws. Laws, bell, you have to place if you get caught. Bell, worship. It's so simple. It's in your face. And there are few that find it, Jesus said. Because Jesus has been taken. Jesus lives in man. Jesus has been taken and his light has been transferred. You cannot see. You cannot hear. Okay? It's very simple, dude. They are taking this Bible, they're taking it mainly as carnal. They make it spiritual when they need to fucking uh, twist shit up or whatever. All right? They just cherry pick when they want. It's very easy. Cherry pick the fucking seeds. Hey, I can do all things. Hey, the name, Bell worship by Bell. What about Cain? Cain's the vagabond. And didn't Jesus come with the vagabonds? Didn't Jesus die on the cross with the vagabonds and the robbers and thieves? Doesn't the Lord come as a thief? He comes as a thief because he, Jesus was that thief. He operated under the law and the Jews ate him for it. They killed him for it and all these different things, folks. He was that, that OG, that OG, Jesus, all right? So, um, as that OG, he operated under that law. And that OG is part of that seven. On that seventh day where he's the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And the Lord is a man. The King is a man. And you're going back to the garden. You can't even understand the Lord God is a man. And then you can't even understand God is a man who's forming the heaven and the earth. Because it's who? Us and our. It tells you a few uh, verses down. It's that simple. God is us and our. And that's where you can see this world, this climate change is actually going to be taking place because this world, man, God, operates through what we run this world. We change the weather. We cause the volcanoes. We cause the earthquakes. We cause this, that, and the other. And it can be a combination of the lights too because now we see like an alien so-called disc or whatever around the volcanoes or whatever. All right. They can be corresponding these things too. But that's light operating this earth and within light operating this earth. All right. So that's where you have a positive and negative. And then the man is in a fallen state and it doesn't always get the light right necessarily so this is where um anyway this ties in a bunch of stuff about the reptilian shit they they brain y'all well brainwash y'all with or whatever there's no like little green men alien is light that's god is light so aliens are god it's everything's here if anything they live in the ocean and the lower depths where mermen and mermaids live or whatever all right i'm a believer of there's a whole world down at the bottom of that uh, Mariana Trench or whatever, all right? As above, so below. There's too many, too much shit in history, all right? Or there used to be or whatever, right? But each age of man, the giants, the hobbits, the whatever, each age could be a different thing where man's DNA is being manipulated and changed and twisted and transformed and whatever. And we can see all these things like in our world today because this is like no other time in this world stage and it's all being brought together now understand that the bible 
it's taught in some circles where the people who wrote Shakespeare or that figure Shakespeare and such was many figures, but all those people were the same people who translated the um, Bible, okay? So Shakespeare, the world stage, take one from the other. You have Jesus setting up his kingdom, right? He's coming and dying for the things that he's bringing to the Jews. And he's, he's that gospel, that showman, that magi, that magician, that the, the people who watch, they have the tent and they watch the sky. They do the smoke and mirrors. They got to be the most high to go into the tent, to hot box it, to get all the angles lined up so they can perform that magic for the people. He's that showman. This is where the people came. 5,000, 10,000, plus women, men, women, and children. He gave them a show, and then he sent them on their way. Just like Elvis. Elvis is that king spirit. He's bringing a show. Everybody, everybody's coming to see him. He gives him a show. He shakes his thing, and then he stops. And they leave offended. But it's feeling good. You know? Um, so this is where we see the celebrities and like Taylor Swift, she's she's the mirror of Elvis in a way. All right, Michael Jackson, all these things are stacks on stacks, and we're getting closer, it's closer and closer and closer and closer. Okay. So we have um the Son of Man, where that light is being given to man returning, and that light and man being returned is that Jesus returning in us. And that's part of the elect being gathered, all right? And that's where the people are left behind who are seeking the salvation in the church and because the rain is open. There's so much stuff, all right? But planet Hollywood, the Holy Wood, the Holy Spirit, that's showing us life. While it's taking life, it's also giving life. But we have to step out from it. We have to detox from it. We have to go into the desert from it. So understand that... Um, Jesus was a showman, all right? We're going to end it here because of time. We're going to get back into Jesus being the showman in the Hollywood and bring in this reality a little bit.